Well, hello there, guys. What's going on? My name is, of course, Bigman, and today we're playing some sector control on Shogor Valley. So, Medal of Honor Warfighter. We have got my hands on this game a few days before it's actually came out in the UK, and uh, some of you may be wondering how. And a thing called proxies exists, so I suggest that you Google that if you're unaware. Uh, if you're playing on PC, of course, I don't hey, know if it works on consoles. Yay. And, um,. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, playing some sector control here, I picked the demolitions class to start off with, which has an AK, uh, and you get C4 as your sort of grenade slot. I didn't know that at this time. I was just sort of trying stuff out. And I'm sorry if um, a few things that I say in this commentary are slightly inaccurate. I'm still yet to uh, get to full grips with uh, the ins and outs of the game. Um, yeah, you need to give me time on that. I'm sorry, I've only played a couple of hours like uh, earlier on today. And uh, so far, I'm very positive about this game. It's actually really fun. There's not any glaring things wrong with it. You know, sometimes you play a game first time and like there's the C4. I thought it was a grenade and I ended up just chucking right it left. 10 feet. Um, there's no glaring things, in my opinion, that are really wrong with this game. Um, like Medal of Honor 2010, the spawn system is completely Aww. fucked. Uh, and the uh, support actions, I thought that guy was out of cover, but he was actually behind it. Um, yeah, there was the, the spawn system was completely wrecked, and uh, so was the support action system. So, they've actually tweaked it slightly in this game here. It's not as glaringly overpowered or whatever. I do get a kill streak later on, or a, a support action, and um, yeah, that happens. <laughs> right here in the game. I um, I reload my gun. I didn't even realize that, realize that I had two bullets left. I ran around the corner and I got myself killed. And I, that's a thing that I've done a few times uh, today, just playing this game. I've not checked how many bullets I've actually got, and it has got me killed a few times. I just feel that on the screen there's so many things, there's so much information thrown at you on the screen that you miss things. You you're too busy trying to focus on the task at hand that you're just sort of um, you sort of cancel things out, you're not paying attention to when things flash up and you know, you get this many points and this many points and look at me, look, I am your father, as you can see, <laughs> I have no idea uh, what I was doing at this point in time, I just pressed, I seen yeah. ballistic armor down the bottom left there, as you can see next to the map, and uh, I just sort of went, what the hell is that, well obviously armor, I knew that, but I was like, okay, no, let's have a look at this in there, you walk so slow, you can't sprint, and you need to sort of walk, walk everywhere, walk. and um, I don't know, I didn't really put it to good use. This just here, I got that grenade launcher there uh, through a support action. You get the choice of either an offensive or a defensive. I don't know if it is defensive or whatever, but one to help out you or one to help out your team uh, support actions. I switch out here to, I think, Point Man. Um, pretty damn good class. Point Man is best man. Um, but when I switched to the grenade launcher, it, it's, oh, it works okay, but the other choice is like a smoke screen. What's the point in that? As a support action, I ain't gonna pick a damn smoke screen. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, point is point, man. Just here, flashbangs are in your grenade slot, and they are pretty damn useful. As you seen just there, I think I got two guys, maybe an assist on the second guy. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, man, point man is the way forward. It definitely is. I get points. See the points down the bottom there. That keep coming up. I don't know why. I keep getting so many points for what my buddy is doing, and he's at the other side of the map. If he gets a kill, I get points. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense, but. I'll take as many points as I can. Thank you very much, Sturdy, yeah, for playing well. I will take all your points from you. <laughs> now, as you seen just there, I threw up a UAV, and um, UAV, the way it works, is it doesn't cover the whole map like it has in older games, let's say. Uh, it, it only covers the little area that you threw it around. It only covers a certain section of the map, and uh, that's probably a way that it should work. I mean, being able to pinpoint the location of every single enemy on the map is probably a bit overpowered than previous games of other series. Um, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, it's good that they've done it this way. Uh, with the support actions, though, I've only actually managed to get, as far as I did in this game here, as you'll see soon, uh, I think I do die here. Yeah, I do. I killed, I eventually kill that guy, and uh, I go for his friend, but he actually threw down a proximity mine. Now, I know I said earlier on there's very little problems with this game, but the proximity mines are irritating. Oh my god. The amount of guys, like, we were playing a team deathmatch, and they were just putting them everywhere. You would turn a corner and it'd be too late and you would just explode and it's just like, oh my fucking god. Now, there's probably something that tells me where they are, but, like I said, there's so much shit on the screen 
I mess it sometimes. I've been messing grenades coming at me and stuff. I mean, there's so much crap on the screen. But it's just a case of learning uh, the game. And this right here, I had no idea what that was at first there. I was just like, what the fuck? UAV? Oh my yeah, god, it's going to kill me. Uh, I just backed off and I think it torpedoed someone. So that thing there, I think it's called a switchblade. It acts as a UAV and then it just goes into like dive bomb mode and kills someone. Which is pretty cool. I like, uh, you know, having different things, a little twist on uh, the different kinds of uh, support actions you can use. So with the point man classes, you can see down the bottom left, uh, it actually has like a little sort of, I don't know if a perk, a specialization, whatever it is, uh, high power ammunition. Now that's exactly what it sounds like. It's high powered ammunition and it it's packs more of a punch. You're able to tear through enemies like they're made of paper. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I don't know what this guy was doing, but I ended up just mowing his face everywhere. And then this guy decided it was a good idea to run in a straight line towards me. Yes, tactical stuff, mate. Well done. So... I actually go on a bit of a streak just here, get myself a few points, and uh, get myself a RC-11 Raven, or a UAV to you and me, basically. And a couple of guys were coming up behind us right here. They kept, I don't know if they were spawning down here or what, but I went through a couple of support actions and got myself uh, something just there, but I don't know if I actually got to use it, whatever that was. I get an airburst uh, mortar. In fact, I do think I do use that in a second here. I go try to chase this guy down. I hit him the first time with the tomahawk. He just completely ignores it because this man's made of steel. And then eventually I beat him to death with it. So, he dies, and yeah, and I'm sorry I didn't put a ninja stab, motherfucker, because it's a tomahawk. Come on, that isn't stabbing, that's brutally murdering someone. So, <laughs> so just there, I put down my airburst mortar down the other side of the map towards where I think all the enemies are, and I get myself, I think, do I get anyone? I'm not even sure I did, but I think my, uh, my fire team buddy got me some points and got me to the next kill streak which was a little bird which I just point in that direction that comes in and just goes oh, okay I'm just gonna come in and kill absolutely everyone and I think I get myself a multi kill straight away there as it comes in and just like strafe and runs them all and uh, I was fairly happy with that oh God, I think this is the so highest streak that I've gotten so far Medal of Honor Warfighter yeah, I will continue play playing it too. and uh, hopefully I can get some more footage for you like I said I want to try and uh, make quite a few videos all this week for you and try and get as many out there that right there you probably saw way in advance of me getting killed there that I had two bullets left in the magazine and I didn't realize <laughs> I charged all the way forward and got myself killed like an idiot and uh, that's not so fun but Shit happens sometimes, and yeah, whatever, it was my fault, let's move on. I almost get killed right there, but my teammate comes over to me, and he actually uh, heals me. I've got four bullets left in the magazine now. I'm sure I just reloaded, I'm not even sure, I'm sure I just reloaded just there. I don't know if this game's got the same bug that Battlefield 3 has, where sometimes you reload your gun, and it just totally fucks up, and no bullets go into the gun. And, uh, yeah, you end up getting killed because of it. But, like I was going to say just there, uh, you can actually get healed and replenish your ammo off of teammates to come over to you and press E. Don't know what it is on consoles. But, that's pretty cool. So, Medal of Honor Warfighter, I would say it's a good game. And uh, I'm going to enjoy playing it. I'm going to play it a bit more in-depth for you and make some more videos. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then please hit that like button down below. And until next time, I've been Big Money, and I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.